Is IVF better or is adoption better? This is a common dilemma which lots of infertile couples face. Should we do IVF or should we do adoption? Now the reality is everything has pros and cons and these are complex decisions and there's no simple right answer. And the only way to find the right answer is by doing your own homework and doing your own research. Remember, IVF and adoption are not competitive. These are actually complementary. Both of these are perfectly acceptable ways of building your family. And you need to explore both these parts to decide what's right for you. And in fact, when patients come to me for IVF treatment, I actually tell them, please go to the CARA website which is the website for the Central Adoption Resource Agency. So you can learn a little bit more about the adoption process. You should explore all these alternatives. There is no downside to doing the exploration. And in fact, I even tell patients when you sign up for IVF, please put your name on the CARA wait list. People sometimes don't realize how difficult adoption is. It's a complicated process. There's a long waiting list. And it's not like there are lots of unwanted babies, you know, which you can go into an adoption agency and pick up. And people forget, especially in India, they see so many unwanted street children. But these street children are not unwanted children. These are actually sources of income for their parents. These are not the kids you're going to find in adoption agencies. And because now women have become so much more educated, the number of unwanted pregnancies and the number of abandoned babies has gone down so dramatically that adoption wait lists are now routinely two years and three years and four years. And that's why we tell patients explore both in parallel. If you explore both in parallel, one thing which may happen is you may say, hey, that's so much better than this. You know, why am I even wasting my time going through IVF? The adoption is a better process and I'm happy to wait. And that's fine. If that's the right option for you, that's great. You may also find, hey, with IVF, I can get a baby so much more quickly. I can at least stop the process. I don't have to wait for three years, something which is completely beyond my control. And I don't want to wait. I'd rather start now. And that's fine too. And you could actually do both. You can actually create the adoption option as a safety net. And just because you get pregnant with IVF doesn't mean that you can't adopt a second baby. Your heart is big enough. Your home is big enough. You can do both. Like I said, they're not exclusive mutually. You can explore both options and of course if you get pregnant with IVF and you decide to take your name off the adoption waiting list, no one is going to complain. There are lots of other adoptive parents who would be more than happy for you to take your name off so that their chances of having a baby by adoption go up. The bottom line is this is not a decision which an IVF doctor can make for you or a social worker or your spouse or your mother or your mother-in-law or anyone else in the world. No one should be preaching at you and telling you, oh, you're being selfish by doing IVF. There are so many unwanted babies. Adoption is the kinder and the better method. That's rubbish. You've got to make a decision you're happy with. You're happy with both with your head, with your heart, with your gut. If you're happy, you'll keep your kid happy, whether you adopt a kid or whatever else. And if you're not happy, you'll make everyone's life miserable. And you're really not doing anyone a favor under those circumstances. So explore all your options dispassionately, use your head, then listen to your heart and then follow your gut instincts. And that's the best way to find out what solution is the right solution for you.